Like, yeah, does one of you want to tell me more about your business idea? Uh, sure. I can tell you about it. So our business is a uh, hemp greenhouse that produces solely clones, and we hope to produce 3 million clones in our first year, and we hope that we will... Um, this will actually be successful, and we're very confident that uh, our business is uh, a sound business. Cool. So. Will you tell me more about the different sections you're representing in your model? Sure. So I'll just real quickly tell you about this side before I give it to them, and they can tell you about the outside. But this is actually a representation of our cloning process. So we have our mother plants here, the larger ones, and then obviously they'd move to the cloning area where they would be uh, placed in a smaller tray to allow them to germinate and grow. And then in this uh, section of it, we have our office building and kind of, you know, our setup for loading docks and kind of shipping area that we have here. And then, um, Yana. Yeah, so this section over here represents the five acres of the entire site that we will be using. This is the flatland. This area over here represents our office building and this represents our three greenhouses. So was there anything particular about so part of the reason that we chose our site is because it's in Beattyville, Kentucky, and it is one of the most impoverished places in all of the nation, like literally one of the poorest in the United States. So we knew that it was extremely devastated by the collapse of the coal industry. But not only that, it, you know, it's in eastern Kentucky. Three of us are from eastern Kentucky. They might as well, they're country enough to be from eastern Kentucky we really felt like we could connect with this place because we're from areas that may be a little bit impoverished um, and we care about Eastern Kentucky and we wanted to see this community grow. Yeah. So just to kind of elaborate on that, um, this site specifically has a large portion of it, the five acres that is flatland that would be suited for this. So the soil is not very high quality, obviously, because it was previously a mine site, but which is why it makes it more suitable for greenhouses. So. Um, and then has any of you worked on a business plan before this competition? No, I don't think any of us had worked on one before. Okay. So what did you think about that experience? Um, I actually really liked it. I'm thinking of switching my major from biology to business now because that's something I would really like to do is to have my own business. So, yeah. And then what's your, what was one of your favorite uh, parts about the project? I think brainstorming at first, like what we were going to do, yeah. because we had so many really good ideas and really like expanding on that and figuring out how to make it a reality. Um, I think my favorite part about the business was just being able to educate ourselves as well as the people around us on ways to be proactive in improving the economy of Eastern Kentucky and just ways of helping people in it. So, I'm personally responsible for uh, like by. 60% of this model and uh, I am very confident in these little people's abilities so I would just like to put that out there. Um, yeah so this has been a really rewarding experience especially since we put in a lot of time and effort and we finally got to present today and I think it went really well and we're really proud of all the things that we've done.